Hey everybody, happy Wednesday. Mark Kazi here from Black Hat Comics and Rockin' Milpitas. Every Wednesday is New Comic Day and I like to give you some great reasons to get down to your local comic shop and pick up something fun to read. Uh, it's a pretty small week all in all, but as usual, there's a lot of great books to talk about. Gonna start with a couple of my all-time favorites this week because this is Black Widow number one from uh, the classic Daredevil team of Mark Wade and Chris Samney. You can read more about this one in our newsletter. A longtime fan of Black Widow. She's a classic uh, Avengers character. Starts out as an Iron Man villain, actually, as we all know by now. Mark Wade is, goes without saying, he's done Kingdom Come and Daredevil and pretty much all kinds of great things like The Flash. Anything from him is worth picking up. Should start with that one. Lots of great women in Marvel books like A-Force, She-Hulk's another one of my all-time favorite characters. Everybody knows I'm a big John Byrne fan and he pretty much made her legendary. Amazing Spider-Man and Silk. And speaking of spiders, Spider-Man, Mr. Miles Morales. This is the second issue. Still have a couple-ish copies of uh, issue one left around if it happens to be your birthday and you're really lucky. This book's red hot, so I hope you're in line at your shop for that one already. Speaking of red hot, Deadpool number eight. You can see that cover is done by one of my favorites, Mike Allred. Don't need to tell you that Deadpool is like the most popular guy on the planet these days. Speaking of him, there he is sitting next to a withered Captain America on the cover of Uncanny Avengers. And how about more Avengers news like Standoff, Assault on Pleasant Hill. Don't get scared if you're in the actual Pleasant Hill. I don't think it's the same thing. New Avengers. How about some X-Men stuff? Uncanny X-Men. Psylocke there on the cover. Or Old Man Logan. Another red hot title right now. Old guys like me making a comeback. Guardians of Infinity is your Guardians book with your man Drax there on the cover. Invincible Iron Man. Don't uh, talk too much about Brian Michael Bendis these days, but he's doing a stellar job on Invincible Iron Man right now. There he is with Mary Jane Watson. Nova, your other sort of Guardians of the Galaxy book. And speaking of Galaxy, Darth Vader 17. You know, I'm always talking about what a great job Marvel does with all the Star Wars stuff. Darth Vader has been uh, really picking up in awesomeness and popularity. So again, I hope you have your copy reserved because that one's going to be selling out fast. Great week for the DC guys. You know, I always like to start with Batman. And I have to start with this. This is a giant-sized coloring book of the first volume of Batman Hush. You can take home Jim Lee art and color it yourself and read an awesome all-time great Batman story while you color it. This is really one of the coolest things uh, DC's done in a long time. There's a few of these, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, coloring book coming out in the series, but what's better than coloring some Jim Lee? That's super awesome. And in other Batman news, Batman Beyond and Batman 66 meets the man from Uncle. Both of those titles I've been using for a long time as a great example of the contrast that they use with Batman and that's really so awesome. Batman and Robin Eternal is your weekly bat book. But wait, there's more. Batgirl and Batwoman there on the cover of DC Bombshells rounds out your bat stuff. Except that the variants for DC this month are all Batman versus Superman. Maybe you've heard about the movie that's right around the corner. That's your Batman Superman cover to Green Lantern number 50, the giant sized 50th issue. All of these uh, DC titles are going to get, well, all the number 50s anyway, are going to get the super sized treatment. So get your wallet ready, recycle those cans. You can start with Green Lantern 50 this week. Swamp Thing number three with Zatanna there on the cover. Read more about that one in our newsletter as well. And Midnighter rounds out your DC stuff for the week. Unless you count Injustice with the rather sad Catwoman there on the cover. That's your video game tie-in book of the week. Lots of great stuff from the Vertigo guys. This is Sheriff of Babylon. We've been encouraging all you guys to get into uh, some of these new Vertigo books as they've been rolling out. There's that one. There's Unfollow. And there's Survivor's Club. Lots of great stuff from the DC guys this week. 
fun stuff for my friends at Dark Horse. You know, I'm always starting with the Mike Mignola guys. This is Joe Golem, not a Hellboy, BPRD, Abe Sapien, Lobster Johnson book like I like to talk about, but pretty much anything from Mike is a solid book to read. Lots of fun stuff. Angel and Faith is your Whedon verse book of the week and my favorite Whedon verse title. Always talking up Angel because that's cool stuff. Predator number one. First issue of a Predator book in quite a while. I know everybody's into the AVP stuff, Aliens and Predator. Super awesome stuff there. Lots of different covers to choose from. I'm always talking about what a great job they do with their uh, property stuff. Lone Wolf 2100. Speaking of licensed property stuff, one of the great manga and animes of all time. Taken into the future. Dark Horse always has really great stuff. And speaking of great stuff, Image Guys have Walking Dead this week. Is there a comic out there bigger than Walking Dead? Is there a TV show out there bigger than Walking Dead? Is there a toy line out there bigger than Walking Dead? What is it with all you guys and zombies? Deadly Class is your other Image Book of the Week along with Revival. And The Discipline is your first issue Gotta Have It Image Book of the Week. Lots of great stuff to talk about from the guys at Dynamite, like Army of Darkness, number one. Been a little while since we've seen Army of Darkness in comics. Cult classic. And speaking of cult classics, Vampirella gets a new number one from Dynamite as well. Longtime fan of Vampirella. Cool uh, vampire Martian. Deja Thoris, issue number two. You know, I'm a big fan of the Warlord of Mars stuff. Yes, I saw the John Carter movie. I love the John Carter movie. And Bob's Burgers is my last Dynamite book of the week because the comic's just as awesome as the show. And speaking as awesome as the show, Mighty Morphin Power Rangers number one is my boom book of the week. You know, to be honest, I'm too old. I don't know that I've ever seen the show, but it seems like everybody else has because the Zero issue sold out super fast. So you're gonna get yourself up on one of these number ones. Very small week for the kids' books this week. There's just a little civil war. Yes, they're even pitching it to the kids. This is the first issue of the Avengers Civil War comic in the uh, Marvel Universe for all ages. Well, Iron Man versus Cap for you. And Scooby-Doo team up with The Flash. What's cooler than Scooby-Doo teaming up with The Flash? Who can solve mysteries faster than The Flash? Lots of great stuff, so check those shipping lists, get down to your shop, pick up something fun to read. want to mention that the San Jose Super Toy Show is this weekend, this Saturday and Sunday, uh, March 5th and 6th. Uh, it's a lots of fun, lots of vintage comics, vintage toys, uh, some new stuff out there, uh, great guest list. Uh, it's always got fun stuff going on, so make sure you check that out. You can find more info at the events page at blackhatcomics.biz. And that's all I got for you for this week. Check us out at Facebook. Check us out at blackhatcomics.biz. Check out our cool YouTube channel. Or just get on down here to Rockin' Milpitas. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next week.